Hello, my name is Phoebe, or Miss Holland to my students. Welcome back, and this is an introduction to triads. Let's start with F chords. So we have F major, F minor, F diminished, and F augmented. How do we know these are what they are? Let's take a look at F major. From F to A is a major third, and A to C is a minor third. If we have a major third on the bottom, between the first and the third scale degree of the chord, that means it's going to be a major chord. That first interval is what decides major or minor. Now we see in the F minor chord, F to A flat is a minor third, and then A flat to C is a major third. With F diminished, it's two minor thirds stacked on top of each other, and F augmented is two major thirds stacked on top of each other. So we can kind of think of those as double major, double minor. In F major and minor, we have a perfect fifth from F to C, in F diminished, we have a diminished fifth from F to C flat. And F to C sharp is an augmented fifth. So we know from the fifth if it's going to be diminished or augmented. Now let's practice in the bass clef with chords that happen to fall on lines. We're going to look at B chords. And the accidentals are only going to apply to the notes directly next to them. It's important to remember the names root, third, and fifth. So in this case, some type of B is going to be the root, some type of D is going to be the third, and some type of F is going to be the fifth. Pause the video here and practice naming these chords. If you said B major, B minor, B diminished, and B augmented, you're right. B augmented is a little tricky. The spelling is extremely important. The reason we say F double sharp instead of G is because triads are made up of thirds. So we need B, D, and F in some way. All right, let's move on to triad qualities in major keys. In the key of G major, the first chord we have is G major. G to B to D. The second chord we have is A to C to E. And that's going to be A minor. Third chord, we have a minor third with a major third stacked on top of it, and we know that that's going to be a minor key, or a minor chord. And since it starts on B, it's going to be B minor. Now we have C, E, and G. So we have first this major third with a minor third on top, so we know that's a C major. D major, E minor, because the first interval is a minor third. And now we have F sharp, A, and C. So we have two minor thirds stacked on top of each other. And that double minor, quote unquote, is going to be a diminished chord. And in a major key, that seventh the chord built on the seventh scale degree is almost always going to be diminished, unless there are any other accidentals. And I've written the Roman numerals beneath all the scale degrees and all the chord names. But for beginning theory, focus on the chord names 
and what note they're built on rather than Roman numerals and functional harmony. So here we have the G minor scale. And we're going to work with natural minor. So a minor scale without any other accidentals. The first chord we have is G minor. The second chord, A, C, E flat, consists of two minor thirds stacked on top of each other. So those two minor thirds means we have a diminished chord on our hands. And in a minor key, that second is always going to be, almost always going to be diminished. B flat, D, and F means we have a B flat major. C, E flat, and G, a minor third with a major third on top, means we have a C minor chord. And that's going to be a four chord. D minor, the minor five, is unusual. Most of the time we have D, F sharp, which is the leading tone, and A. This would happen in harmonic minor or melodic minor, anything that raises the sixth or seventh scale degree. Most likely we would have a major five going to that one or another chord. Now the chord built on E flat, E flat G, B flat, is an E flat major chord. Then again we have F, A, C sharp, but most likely we're going to have that F sharp, which again is the leading tone, which would give us a diminished chord. But if we don't and we're in natural minor, then we have F, A, C, which is a major third with a minor third, so F to A being major third, and A to C being a minor third, which is going to give us that F major chord. So all the major chords are highlighted in yellow, all the minor chords are highlighted in blue, and the diminished chords are highlighted in purple because they're fun and different.